always that little thing called doubt in your head. It fucks with you. Oh well. Lee Conkey is a man at the cutting edge of his craft. He's a sculptor, but instead of a chisel, he uses a chainsaw. His work that he puts his heart into is so soulful and spiritual. Art has been like meditation to me. I can go into some like sort of trance thing where I have no worries and no fear. I'd love seeing when he does that. I just walk away going, oh, he's in the moment that he needs to be. He has got that kind of bravado and his size and shape communicates a lot. I don't think anybody I know has ever put you down, actually. No. You're too frightened of you. He does ooze charisma when he wants to, and he's quick-witted and funny. Everyone's just assumed Lee is, like, so excited and passionate and happy and all of that. But it's quite often that Lee's the one that's really suffering inside. He's torn between forgiving and this hatred. 43 fucking years I've been having this and peering in nightmares. And I think here, you fucking dog, I'm gonna hurt you badly. It's going to hurt too much watching you doing this. This is like a slow suicide. They'll carve you up and they'll spit you out. That's a terrible thing for me to say, but it's the goddamn truth. When you try to forget things, and as a teenager, you punch yourself in the head. The wounds are there, they're not going to heal. But he's a fighter. It's a great challenge for me. I just don't want him to fight. It would require a huge amount of commitment. He'd have to change his whole world. The actual first bit of art I've done, real art. We don't have to get in and out five minutes. It's brilliant. We're supposed to be these tough blokes that don't cry and all this fucking bullshit. But I love an emotional man that has heart and isn't afraid to show it. If I can focus on something good, and I can block out the darkness, then I'd use anything really.